This hour, the MKMVA has rejected the allegations about any assistance from the Bell Port Khitr as fake news and blatant lies. The military veterans were responding to charges that the British PR company Bell Port Khitr has been involved in formulating media statements for MKMVA. The MKVA President Kebi Mapadwe says they have never met with any employee of Bell Port Khitr nor ever received any coaching whatsoever. But how do you analyze and understand the South African political reality? In a strongly worded statement, Mapadre completely rubbished allegations that British PR camp company Belport Khitir has been involved in formulating media statements for MKMVA. The MKMVA says it is false of propaganda narrative that Belport Khitir developed the concept of white monopoly capital and radical socio-economic transformation. He said the use of the def definition of white monopoly capital by ANC and SACP stretches back over many decades. Long before Port Khitr even existed or started a work in South Africa, even radical economic transformation can be found in the lexicon of the ANC and SACP over decades. The MKMVA has accused some ANC leaders like Joel Nechitenze, Paul Mashatile, David Makura, Blade Zimande, and Trevor Manuel of abusing this false narrative for fictional purpose. The MKVA calls their behavior a disingenuous and expended in the extreme. The veterans have called for this fictional group of leaders to be concerned, or rather censored, in the strongest possible manner. And joining us is Carl Aeneas, who is an MKMVS NEC member, who joins us on the phone line. Welcome, sir, to News Point. Now, what is the basis of allegations that the MKMVA was being coached by the British PR firm uh, Bell Potenger? Well, good afternoon. I do not know what the basis is, except that it's clearly a false narrative and false news that is being distributed. MKMBA has never been coached by Bell Pottinger. We've never had any meetings with Bell Pottinger. And in fact, we believe that this British foreign PR company should really go back to where they belong, in the United Kingdom and in London. We do not need anyone to tell us how to analyze and experience our South African society. We know that monopoly capital in South Africa is racist and white. We have been saying this for many, many decades. It's not since yesterday that we've been saying this. And Bell Pottinger, in fact, have not even existed when the term white monopoly capital for the first time was used in ANC and SACP publications. Mm -hmm. This is deeply insulting to MKMVA specifically, but also to South Africans in general. As if we, as South Africans, and especially the black and African majority in South Africa, cannot speak and think for ourselves. It's unacceptable. This kind of false news distributed by some of the mainstream media is totally to be rejected. And it is very, very sad that some of our own comrades inside the ANC, and you've mentioned some of the names that we mentioned in that statement, among them Joel Nechatenze, and Trevor Manuel are prepared to take this false narrative on board in order to try and advance their own factionalist positions within our liberation movement. Hmm. Now, what could be the possible motive behind the allegations of MKMVA being coached by the Bell, uh, Bell Potenger? Do you think it could be behind this a false, um, rather this could be behind this false narrative? Well, it's a spear campaign. It, and it is, as I've said, deeply insulting to the members of MKMBA. MKMBA are soldiers who have fought for the liberation of South Africa. Many of our comrades have dedicated many decades of their lives to the liberation for South Africa. We have a proud tradition of strong policy understanding of having commanders and commissars that are well-versed in the politics and analysis of South Africa. And it is deeply insulting for any insinuation that a British PR company, especially one as dubious as Bell Pottinger, 
would have been coaching us to understand our own reality and the world and South Africa that we live in. It has to be rejected with the absolute disregard that they show. And we say to them, go back to where you come from. Go back to the colonist London where you live and where many of those white monopoly capitalists are now that have taken so much of our money out of this country right under the nose of Trevor Manuel when he was the Minister of Finance. Hmm. Now, you have ac uh, accused certain leaders of abusing the false narrative for their own factional purpose. Please do elaborate on that. Well, as I've said, there are some ANC members, and we've listed some of them, Jolne Chuchenze, Paul Mashatile, David Makura, um, Trevor Manuel, who have said that the lexicon of white monopoly capital does not exist. Now, that is utterly untrue. As I've said to you, that lexicon existed in the writings and in the documents of the ANC for many, many decades. And in fact, recently, Professor Chris Malabkani from the University of the Witwatersrand France had published a 17-page paper quoting extensively out of ANC and SACP docu documents over decades showing that white monopoly capital had been and continues to be used by the ANC and the SCCP, and the same is true for radical economic transformation. So for these comrades to deny that white monopoly capitalism exists is just absolutely flabbergasting, and the only conclusion that one can come to is that they are trying to play this word game with not being prepared to acknowledge the realities of South Africa for their own factional purposes, as mm. we've said in the statement. Mm. Now, before I let you go, Mr. Nias, there was a lot of controversy around the definition of monopoly um, a capital, uh, even during the ANC policy conference. Now, if the concept is, is, is decades old, why does it seem to be an attempt to create confusion around it off late? Well, I think it is clear that there are some comrades who have benefited substantially from monopoly capitalism, especially white monopoly capitalism here in South Africa, who have advanced in their own personal lives and are now suddenly want to try and fudge the issue. Mm -hmm. And under the circumstances, we need to say to them, we're not going to allow that to happen. White monopoly capitalism exists and is well and alive in South Africa. It has to be identified as the enemy of the majority, especially African people of South Africa. We cannot use the kind of terminology that Mr. Joel Nechatendi used when he said it is contestation and cooperation with monopoly capital. How on earth do we cooperate? with white monopoly capital when over centuries it has been subjugating the majority of black and especially African people, mm. have caused deep harm, continue to cause deep harm, continue to sustain a structure that has led to South Africa being one of the most unequal, in fact, the most unequal society in the world, with some of the deepest poverty and some of the wealthiest people, on the other hand, most of them by overwhelmingly white, how on earth do anyone expect from us as self-respecting ANC and Umkonto, we say we're cadres, who have fought against racist and capitalist exploitation to talk about cooperation with monopoly and especially white monopoly capital? Mm. It's not possible. We will not do it. We will resist it. We will continue to work for a clear understanding of what the enemy in South Africa is, and that is white monopoly capital. And we will continue to work for a fundamental transformation of the economic power relations in South Africa as set out in our program for radical socioeconomic transformation, also as it had been set out by President Zuma, during the State of the Nation address in February mm. this year. Mm.
Mr. Nehaus, thank you so much for that insight. We do appreciate your time. That's Mr. Carl Nehaus, who's an MK MVA NEC member who is uh, joining us on the phone line and giving us an insight on the latest of the Bell Potenza of uh, on, on, on news, rather, on spreading uh, f f lies and fake, uh, fake narrative and, and fake news.